Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the 144. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. I wanted to shoot a quick update for the special day tomorrow, which is the 9th of January 2022, when we reach the zero point in the Zolkin Mayan calendar. And contemplating this powerful day in alignment, this is the great central sun, Hunabku, the galactic center, which is zero point, the still center, as Dr. Walter Russell would say, the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. And because of this powerful portal activation tomorrow, contemplating the zero point on the earth, where the equator is the zero latitude, the longitude, Zero is either called the prime meridian or Greenwich meridian. And when we see where this zero point, where the equator and the meridian, the prime meridian, meet at the zero latitude, zero longitude, here we are off the coast of Africa, the Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Guinea. You can see this is just south of Ghana, just west of Gabon. See, the, the equator moves through this area, through Gabon, and the prime meridian, meridian through Ghana and up through the north here into Mali and Algeria, up through Greenwich, up through the UK. But if you zoom in to zero, zero, right here on the map, we have a very strange symbol in the ocean Let's take a look at this. It starts looking like a cross. You can see right here in the middle. There we have it. This is called Null Island. Null as in like null and void. The zero point, point the prime. The emptiness, the still. You can see as we zoom in, looks like faces. This is not an island. This is under the ocean. It's a fictional island. But as you can see, the symbolism in here and the patterns. Now, when we talk about zero point, this is void energy. This is the no thingness we call mu in the Japanese Zen Buddhism. Mu, M-U, mean not a thing, not something, not nothing. And in this void, like the unconscious, this is where many of the fears hide. Many of the false negative energies, entities, which is all perception and belief that create these negative, we could say, energies. Although no ener energy is neutral in nature, we can do positive things with energy and we can do negative things. It's a double-edged sword. The emptiness is form and the form is emptiness. This is from the Heart Sutra, the Sutra of Avelokitesvara, who we call Kuan Yin or Kuan Yin. Avelokitesvara, the Bodhisattva of Compassion, clearly saw that the five skandhas are empty, meaning the five senses in true nature, in their natural state, are empty. And they're filled with sound, with vision, with light, frequency. It's all resonance, as Nikola Tesla says, the great genius of our timeline. You could see a lot of, look like tail, look like a face in here. Very strange. And here we have Null Island, Wikipedia. You could see there's a buoy here, weather buoy. Null Island, they call it. But here it's just the ocean. What we saw on the map is underneath the ocean, some kind of underwater island. We're going to bring this in the Photoshop to bring out some of the details. But let's take a look. This is in international waters in the Atlantic Ocean, 600 kilometers off the coast of West Africa in the Gulf of Guinea. Exact point using the WGS 84 datum marked by Soul Boy or Boy, named after the musical genre, a permanently moored weather buoy. No island jokingly refers to the suppositional, suppositional existence of an island at that location, meaning that there's really not an island, a supposed island. 
this is zero zero the nearest island four degrees 45 feet one degree 58 to the north <coughs> You could see that the zero zero is where the Earth's equator meets the Greenwich Meridian zero. Some people call it. There was a 1957 cartoon, Colonel Bleep. What the bleep do we know? Took place on the fictitious zero zero island, that is Null Island. And we'll take a look. Bring it into Photoshop here, the image. And we'll adjust the contrast. Bring up the brightness. You could see some different faces in here. We'll zoom in. Very strange. Also, there's a pattern, almost like a bee or a butterfly in here. We can see many things in these images. We'll enhance levels here almost like a extraterrestrial footprint or handprint let us know in the comments below what you're seeing in this image bring this A lot of visuals in here, almost like a mantis, mantis head here, some kind of insect. Let's have to save that out. Let's keep it here and let's rotate it. See what we can see when we rotate. Bear with me for a moment. We'll crop it down a little bit so we have more room. There we go. Almost like a butterfly here. Hunabku, the galactic butterfly, which is the great central sun. Almost like an owl. See the two eyes here? An owl symbolizing wisdom. The owl transform into the butterfly. Let's rotate it again. See what else we may find here. See right there. Owl with the wings spread. Almost look like um, Mothman, that Mothman prophecy. What are you seeing there? Very interesting symbolism. Almost look like Thunderbird or Phoenix. I see dragon and unicorn. A lot of symbolism. I see a cat. Very powerful. So in this powerful alignment tomorrow, if we put our awareness into this null zone, into the zero point, there is that still center within your physical vessel that mirror the external. We see there's the central point of the earth, the central point we call singularity. It is a point of infinite density. Now that's within everything and that center is everywhere. That's what Walter Russell would teach, one of the greatest geniuses of all time. He wrote very powerful books, The Secret of Light, Atomic Suicide, many other books, the universal one, An Awakened Genius. He would teach that that still center is eternal, never changes, but it creates a simulated motion, a simulated movement. This is the I am presence, spirit in motion, which is a mirrored effect and simulated. 
by the mind of creator source, which is the still white magnetic light, then beyond that, the clear light, beyond that, the great mystery, the unknowable, unborn mind of Buddha. All fingers point to the same moon, all paths lead to the same source. So we put our awareness in the still center for enough of us in the same moment. Still the mind, the physical body. This creates the zero point, which is the full compression breakthrough. What we call supernova soul. It expands out into the ends of the infinite multiverse in an instant. And here today... With these powerful alignments, you can see the Schumann, a lot of activity here, a lot of energy, the gamma plasma waves pulsing in. You can see Power 37 posted this on the channel earlier in the community page and on our Facebook page that the symbolism 37 into 73 heaven on earth. These are heavenly higher dimensional energies, fifth dimensional energies pulsing in, preparing us for this great convergence tomorrow the, of the still point of the still center the great central sun which is within you we still the mind that is the kingdom of heaven within but you experience it within you experience it without the external mirror the internal and the internal mirror the external it's a perfect mirror reflects itself perfectly so let us know what you're experiencing in these moments these hours leading up to this perfect alignment tomorrow and keep your mind in the heart center the middle dantian this is the water path divine feminine the healing path the venus venusian the blue hand path divine goddess of the waters the holy water merge with the holy fire so thank you for joining us today. Be sure to check out our full transmissions tomorrow. We'll have a special transmission uh, tomorrow. Actually, the full transmission we'll be bringing out for today in a few hours from now. And tomorrow we'll have another special transmission for the beginning of the new wave spell and the zero point of Hunab Ku. So be sure to check that out. Have a most beautiful and blessed awakening journey. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can do so with a monthly pledge on Patreon or, or one-time donation at EagleLoveCondor.com. Thank you all very much for supporting the Eagle and the Condor in our great mission of Heros Gamos and bringing in the new age of the new earth, heaven on earth, a whole. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.